Hi, I'm Frank Bavakwa. I'm a second year medical student at Monash University and I receive tutoring from Medview Education through a variety of different services on my journey into medicine. Medview, in conjunction with a bit of a drive to get in in the first place, definitely got me through. Um, I received MMI tutoring, I received UCAT tutoring, I received chemistry tutoring and specialist math tutoring as well, um, just to sort of boost my VCE scores as well as teach me what the UCAT actually was and how to succeed in it. And on top of that, when I was lucky enough to get an interview, I owe everything to my MMI tutor, Anish. So shout out to Anish, who definitely sort of got me over the line with the MMI. I really like the service aspect that a career in medicine gives. To be able to sort of give myself to a career that will enable me to help people in need is something that always appealed to me. On top of that, I've always been a math science person. And um, when you can sort of combine a love of service and a love for science, medicine's really a great match. But more so than that, I really like the culture that doctors operate within. I think the ever progressing nature of medicine is something really enticing. It means that my career in 10 years could be different to what it is when I start medicine. It could be different in 20 years. Challenges within the process of getting into medicine were sort of the classic ones of, will I actually get the marks? Will I actually do well on the UCAT? Sometimes the answer is no. Um, and will I do well on the interview? So I think it was a very sort of turbulent year, year 12, and sitting the UCAT and going through VCE and juggling co-curriculars to the side of that. Um, I think the most difficult time of the year was definitely sitting in the UCAT, as, as it is for most people that apply for medicine. The UCAT is a very daunting aspect, and it's, I always think of it, and I tell my kids that it's the, 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 the kids I tutor, that it's the, the uh, medicine application killer. So yeah, I'd say the most difficult part of the, ap of the application and the timeline into medicine was sitting in the UCAT. I'd say the best part was sitting the MMI, because I think everyone has their strong suits, and as you can tell probably from this video, I really like to talk, so the MMI was the easier, easier part of the application, and the UCAT was the hardest bit. I've got two lawyers for parents and they don't really understand the process into medicine. They sort of just think if you do well in year 12, then you get into your course. And my school didn't really know and my, and my family rightly didn't know that there's a bit more to that in the application into medicine, but they still supported me in every way they could. And they gave me everything that I needed to sort of succeed. And I definitely felt that support through the services I got from Medview. And I think they also felt the support that Medview gave them as well, because I can't imagine it's easy sort of trying to support a kid that doesn't really know exactly what to do or how to, how to achieve their aspirations. And as a parent, I really feel that, that all they wanted to do was help me achieve what I wanted to achieve. I'll always remember when my mum would just mention that she's been on a call with Kiri, my uh, student success coordinator, or academic advisor rather. Um, and I'd just be like, why are you on a call with Kiri? And she'd be like, I'm just checking in, like making sure you're doing okay. And that was, that, those were sort of wholesome moments through the year where I really felt that everyone was sort of on my team and pushing me to, to do my best. My academic advisor was Kiri. I'll always remember my onboarding call with her. She's really she's a really excitable person. If you ever get to meet Kiri, you're a lucky person. I'll always remember Anish, my MMI tutor, maybe because he was the last person that I sort of interacted with as a student at Medview. Yeah, he, he met with me every day for like three weeks prior to my interview. He moved house and he tutored me that night. It was a late session, but I, wasn't too, I didn't mind doing a late session that day because he did move house. My student success manager, Philomena, who's really lovely as well. When I first got in, I sort of resolved to myself that I wasn't going to get in. I was a bit pessimistic, so that if I was pessimistic, then I got in, I'd be really excited. I didn't want to be like, yeah, I'm going to get in and not get in, because I feel like that'd be like heartbreaking. So I sort of convinced myself I wasn't going to get in, even though my tutors and my mom and my family said, no, you're going to get in. Like, I was like, no, I'm not. And I was on a call with my girlfriend at the time, actually, that I got my application, uh, that I got my offer, sorry. And I was sitting, I was on the call, I'm like, oh, I got my email, like, Thought I was gonna get in, in the afternoon. I got it in the morning and I, I was like, I'm not gonna get in, don't get excited, don't get excited. It's gonna be biomed. Not that biomed's really bad. I just resolved that that's what I was gonna get, but I wanted medicine. And I clicked on the email and I just started shouting and she started shouting. And then I had to get off the call and run upstairs and tell my family and they started shouting. Yeah, um, for people that are preparing for or considering a, um, a journey into a medical degree, um, I think what I've sort of emphasized this whole time is what I actually pre pre previously said is it takes a village. Um, and that's so true. No one is born knowing how to get in. No one knows all the pathways. So reach out, ask questions, and seek out mentors and tutors. I think the thing that most people don't expect, and I think the reason why the UCAT is really the medicine dream killer, I think most people in school are used to just do practice question, practice pr question, practice question, and you will succeed at what you're doing because you're going to learn the content and learn how to answer the questions. But with the UCAT, it's really not like that. It's about learning the skills to apply to questions because they don't give you the same questions every year. Learn skills, not strategies in the UCAT. And yeah, there's also, it, with the MMI, there's a process to answer the questions, to show critical thinking, to show re reflection and to show 
that you're not making any assumptions before you make uh, before you provide an answer. I think the good thing about Medview is they sort of tailor everything to the student rather than just give you this generic course about this is how to succeed because it's not like that. Everyone's different and everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. And I think that that's what I appreciated Medview recognized. Uh, so I had my call with uh, my mum and Kiri and Kiri was really excited. So it put me, I was, I was very stressed going into it because I didn't want to sort of, I was like, oh no, I don't want to be like, I need tutoring like, but it's not really like that. And I think Kiri sort of conveyed that, no, it's not sort of, it's not that you're in the minority with tutoring, you're in the majority. And that's what you sort of, that's what sort of pushes you over the line. It's the, the my minute population of people in that m a minority that don't get tutoring actually get into medicine. I think most people actually do get tutoring. And so that put me at ease to sort of recognize, uh, to, to be told that. And then she designed a whole sort of plan and tutoring plan for me and pathway into medicine. And I was like, is it really that easy? Is this the, the path in? And here we are. So she clearly knew what she was doing. She's been tutoring. Uh, she's been academic advising for ages. Um, so she's, she's, a, she's a mastermind at it. So my experience at Monash so far has been awesome. I was really nervous going in because I was the only person from my campus of my school to get in. And then one guy got in from the other campus, but I don't see him too much because he's in the other sort of group of um, classing. Um, so yeah, I came in and it's a lot more social than I thought it was going to be. I really expected it to be really quiet and that like I was going to have to be grinding academically the whole time. And yeah, there's an element of study and being studious to succeed in a medical degree, of course. But um, it was a lot more social than I thought it was going to be. And that was really sort of, it put me at ease. And I made a lot of friends really quickly. I was at college for the first year and um, I made a really good group of friends that I'm really happy that I sort of made. I think it's really daunting to sort of say that you want to study medicine because of everything it entails. And after you say it, like you've got to try to do it, right? But I think if you do want to try, or there's even that inkling in you to try, give it a go seek out support and do your best. I always say to people like, if I can get in, you can get in, but that's actually true. I'm, I wasn't the ducks of my school. I wasn't even Proxima Assessor, which is second ducks. I just did my best and things, things came together in the correct way for me. And I always, my dad, who's my biggest supporter and he knows everything that I'm capable of said that there's, there was an element of luck. And I think that's absolutely right. You can have a good day on your UK. You can have a good day on your MMI. You can have a bad day. That's okay. But as long as you do your best and you give it your all, I think anyone can truly get into medicines.